Parents who find themselves in the situation are running out of options. Guilford County School says the elementary after school program ACES will not be available in the first nine weeks of remote learning. WFMY News 2's Alma McCarty has more on these challenges and how the district is working to solve them. It's not a typical year, but in a typical year, Guilford County School says up to 4,000 students participate in ACEs. That's roughly 12% of all elementary school students. Thousands of Guilford County families forced to find another option after the district opted for remote learning only for the first nine weeks of the new school year. The after school program ACEs won't be offered during that time. I know it's super hard, especially some of the parents who you know, maybe single parent homes or both parents work, trying to find a way to make the remote learning work for them, for their students, and trying to find a place for, for their students to be that's affordable. Thomas Bierbauer is the ACES site coordinator at Triangle Lake Montessori. He says for many of his families, it's the best and sometimes only option for childcare when the school day ends. During the regular school year, we are consistency for these students. We are support for these students and some of them um, get more help at ACEs really than they might even during the regular school day. Superintendent Dr. Sharon Contreras says once in-person learning begins, GCS will restart the program, likely at a higher cost due to sanitizing, social distancing, and more staff needed per number of students. In the meantime, uh, for parents who have to return to work and need child care, we are beginning to work with some of our partners the YMCA and others. Bierbauer tells me he hasn't heard a final word on how or if the district will place him in another role until ACEs starts back up.